the reality is that's another race that I didn't enjoy. Welcome to race number three of the Worcestershire Midweek Summer Series. This is the Droitwich 10K, the only one of the four that is a road race. So this is a race video of two stories. There's the side that I show you, the Rachel that is enjoying running, enjoying racing and is actually having the best running year ever. But there's also a side to my running journey that has not been so much fun over the years. When I've been making these videos, I try and show you the positives, the achievements, the hard work I put in and sometimes the disappointment. But there's no point in me always painting a happy face when really this is not always how I feel. We all have our own vulnerabilities and I am no exception. Time for a more truthful video. What I'd rather be doing is eating some of this ice cream. Not running a 10k, but unfortunately, I think I have a race to do. What do you think of the Arrow Valley Lake one? I liked it. You liked it? Yeah. I didn't. I hated it. Today's race was taking place at Churchfields Farm, which is just outside Droitwich. But I knew absolutely nothing about the race except where it started, that it was a 7.30pm start and that it was an undulating course. I'd had a very high volume training week the week before but had had one whole rest day and a one hour easy run in the days leading up to today's race. I wasn't expecting anything fast but was willing to put in a good effort. You're probably still thinking, so what's the problem? Nothing seems any different to any of my other race videos but that's just it. It's so easy to paint a picture that you want everyone to see so that's what I did. So here we go, welcome to race three. I think the only advantage here it's not raining. So far in the summer series, I placed fifth in race one at Hagley in May. Race two at Arrow Valley, I placed second female in June. So I've been more than happy with how I've been running. I've only run the Droitwich race once before, and that was back in 2013. But as it was a completely different course to today's, I won't be able to compare it like for like. First mile done, six minutes, 44. A big downside to these summer races are that they're in the evenings. I'm not the best at racing at such a late time. I'm usually up and out first thing when I train and by the evening, after a full day's work, I'm ready to unwind. But by late afternoon, my body is trying to tell me to slow down because that's what it's used to. When I finish work at 6 p.m., I have to change, drive to the race and then swap from off mode to race mode. Really, I have to fight the urge not to just drive home. Two miles done. 6.37 mile two, overall average pace, 6.41, most of that second mile was downhill, not all, but most. The worst part of running for me though isn't anything to do with the time of day I run, the paces, the times, it's actually nothing to do with the running part of it at all, I can fix that, give me a race, give me a challenge and I will do everything I can to achieve it. The biggest overriding factor for taking out the enjoyment of my sport is very, very simple. Mile three, 6.33. Again, probably more downhill than that, almost halfway. 5K in 20 minutes, 34 seconds. Overall average pace, 6.40. Something tells me these last 5K are going to be uphill. Thank you. As much as I hadn't wanted to run this evening, I felt pretty pleased with how the run was going. I didn't want to stop like I did when I was at Arrow Valley. The pace was quicker than I'd hoped and although the hills were short and sharp, I quite enjoyed not knowing what I'd face after the next turn. I had lost my bearings a bit though, as you'll soon see. My oar, 4709. That's more the pace I expected today. Oh, thanks. There you go, second lady. Only one of a lady in front, can't see her. I know the third place is just behind me. I'll try and smile. <laughs> ah, this is a steep hill. I'd overtaken the second place lady at around 5k, but I had no idea how far behind me she was. There was also a Droitwich AC runner called Gary just in the distance in front. I know I finished in front of him in race one, he finished in front of me in race two, so we're obviously at very similar pace, but he was running too strong for me to catch up today. Mile five, 6.55, and we're going over the canal. There we go. I think they've got the right idea on the summer's evening. Relaxing, forgot to say. Overall average pace, 6.48. We had a big downhill 
in the first mile. Got less than a mile to go. So I think this is going to be a very slow mile towards the end. At least it's only one to go. Thank you. It might not even be a downhill. This is the road we came in on, as in driving in. And it was either flat or downhill. What a bonus. So I'd lost my bearings on the route. I thought the big uphill finish had magically disappeared, but unfortunately I was about to find out it was still to come. One K to go. Let's push up the hill. There. Oh, don't tell me there's a hill. <laughs> oh God, I think there's a hill. There is a hill. Thank you. Find the push. Thank you. Well, that's race number three done and dusted. I'm actually quite pleased with how that went tonight, um, considering I didn't really want to run it and the complete lack of any speed work that I'm doing at the moment. It's just basically back to back races, recovering, tapering, and then just heading straight out onto another run. And of course, with the ultra coming up, these legs are definitely not fresh. Um, so yeah, uh, very pleased overall with tonight's effort. Glad it's done. Uh, just one left in the series that's over on the Clent Hills and that's in August. So yeah, I've got uh, to recover from this uh, slightly hilly, just short of a 10k tonight and uh, back to some very long runs. I've got uh, my longest run before I head off to the Peak District for my 50 mile race. I'm going to be doing that at the weekend. Hopefully if it's dry enough I can film that for you. But yeah, that's uh, the end of race number three for you, the Droitwich 10k and I'll catch you next time. Bye. So that was the race conclusion I wanted you to see. I made my way back to the car and did get to speak to a lonely goat couple and we did have a quick chat about the race. But I got to the car and just thought everything I've just said and made you believe was actually not how I felt. So I recorded another one. The reality is that's another race that I didn't enjoy. Felt like a complete and utter alien in the sport that I've been doing for so long. But I'm not going to stop because that's giving in and I'm just going to keep turning up and hope that maybe one day coming to these races I just feel a bit better. It's not much fun doing it on your own, you know. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not. But I turned up. Only one more left in this series. At least I get to go home now. That's the best bit, I think. So if I could change just one thing, it would have to be that I never have to go to a race on my own. I know hate is a strong word, but I've had to do it so many times that I would even sacrifice finished times and finished places just not to have to be that runner who arrives and leaves on their own. But do you know what? Maybe one day I can have both.